Start from five. This is the book of Acts, chapter two, verse five. Mm -hmm. And they were dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews. Who? Jews. Now I will tell you those Jews that were dwelling in Jerusalem, Jews, really? Real? Devout men, mm -hmm. out of every nation under heaven. Mm -hmm. Out of where? Every nation under heaven. Read. Now, when this was noised abroad, mm -hmm. the multitude came together and were confounded. Because that every man had heard them speak in his own language. That the Jews that come around, they had a prophet speaking British, speaking South Africa, speaking Nigeria in their own language. They'll tell you who are those Jews now, read. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, mm -hmm. Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? Mm -hmm. And how hear we every man in his own tongue, wherein we were born? In his own tongue. Tongue means in its, the, we are hearing them speaking our own language. Read. Parthians and Medes. Parthians and Medes. Well, we'll read verse 5 and jump to 9 again now. Just read verse 5 and jump to 9. Read again. And, de and there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, Jews. devout men, out of every nation read. under heaven. Which nation are there? Where did they come from? Parthians. Parthians. That is Asian. Read. And Medes. That is Syria? And the dwellers in Mesopotamia. No, Parthians mean what? And Elamite. Elamite, India. Okay, Read. Hmm? And the dwellers in Mesopotamia. Iraq. Mesopotamia and in Judea mm -hmm. and in Cappadocia mm -hmm. and in Pontus and in Asia Read. and in Phrygia and in Pamphylia, in Egypt and in parts of Libya about Cyrene. Mm -hmm. And strangers of Rome. And what? And strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes. You understand now? Huh? So those Gentiles are Israelites. Okay, but let's, the topic is salvation, right? How, yeah. how, who is considered uh, justified before God? Justified before God. Who is considered justified before God? Is it not the man who placed his faith in Christ, regardless of their nationality? Listen, uh... Bloodline or give me Act 531. Let's see, let's see, let's see who salvation is for. Let, by faith. No, listen, let's see who salvation is by faith. I agree with you. Faith and the keeping of commandment. Faith and the keeping of commandments. Not just faith. Remember, I say the commandments of the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's the same commandment, but who is the salvation meant for? Who are meant to be? Let's see. Is that what Bible says? Give me Act 5. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This is the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 31. Him had God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel. No, I need salvation. Give me that in 45, 17. Isaiah 45, 17. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 17. No, is that what I want? Yeah, yeah. But Israel... Listen shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Which one? With an everlasting salvation. Did you understand that? Yes, but salvation is for the children of Israel alone. As well as the Gentiles. The well. Gentiles are the Israelites. We are, we are saying the same thing. It's for all. It's for anyone who believes. No, no, no. There's, listen, hold on. Re, 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 go, go, no, no, go, go back to Act 5, 20, 21. Can you, do you believe in the Bible? There's nowhere in the Bible it says it's for all. It is for all. No, read. Twenty-one. Listen. Matthew one twenty-one. This is the book of Matthew, chapter one, verse twenty-one. Mm -hmm. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Did he hear the old word there? Eh? Yes. He said his people. No, Let, wait, give me, let's see. The Bible will tell you who are his people. Do you believe in the Bible? Oh, yeah, read, give me now, two and six. This is the book of Matthew. Two Ma and six. Yes, this uh -huh. is the book of Matthew, chapter two, verse six. Mm -hmm. And thou, Bethlehem, mm -hmm. in the land of Judah, mm -hmm. art not the least among the princes of Judah. Mm -hmm. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people. Who? 
that shall rule my people, Israel. Did you hear those that believe there? Yes, but like... Wait, no, read it again. Say yes. But sister, are you listening to what we're no, reading? No, no, no don't hide to the Bible. The Bible says don't hide, don't remove. Where? Where are you reading? Where? Read. Read, read this place. And thou, Bethlehem, mm -hmm. in the land of Judea, mm -hmm. art not the least among the princes of Judah. Mm -hmm. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people, Israel. Now, you say God's coming to save his people, right? Yes. From what? From what? From what? Oh, the, who are not my people. That, those are the Gentiles. Those are people like you. And the Gentiles from five years, that they were never, it's a prophecy from the book of Hosea. Yeah. Who was the book of Hosea written to? Was it written to the old world? The New Testament is abbreviation of the Old Testament. You can, right. When they were teaching, when Christ and the disciples were teaching, yeah. there was no book of John 14, 11 and 49. There was no book of 1 Peter, 2 Peter. There was nothing like that. They were read, listen, they were reading from the book of the prophet. Yeah, so, now we're in the new covenant. You understand? Listen, the new covenant, is it meant for the old world? Yes. Are you sure? Are you sure? Okay. Sure. Well, we let's see whether whether you are sure the Bible is wrong. Let's see who is wrong. Read. Hebrew 8 and 8. You Christian, you've been we've been taught lies upon lies upon lies. This read. is the book let, of let it, let it, maybe you believe what the Bible says now. Hold on, read. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 8, verse 8. Mm -hmm. For finding fault with them, mm -hmm. he said, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, mm -hmm. when I will make a new covenant. That you said you make a new covenant with the old world, right? When I will make a new covenant mm -hmm. with the house of Israel. No, the old world. With the house of Israel. The old world. With the house of Israel. No, the sister says anybody that believes. What the Bible say? With the house of Israel. Read. And with the house of Judah. So where is the where is the new covenant? In the only question I ask. Also love the world. Oh my God again. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Which, 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 so that's all you have. That's all you got. No, no, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Listen, I said, tell me, let's stay in the. You said he made covenant with the old world. Let's say, you said. Listen, I want to go there now. And there he said he made covenant with the old world. In that John 11 49, did he say, the Bible said. No, you said, listen, read 8 and 8. You said he made covenant with the old world. But the Bible just said who he made covenant with. Read. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 8. Verse 8, mm -hmm. for finding fault with them, mm -hmm. he said, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel. So give me a scripture that contradicts that he made a covenant with your world. No, but I, I, I want to know. I want to. I want you to agree with me first. Let's finish this. Is there a scripture that yes. contradicts that he made the covenant with your world? John chapter eleven. Here it says. No. Can I? Yeah, you. We will read it for you. We'll read. But the question I'm asking is, the, did John eleven? The word answers. It's, the word speaks for Okay, give, give me John eleven forty nine. Yeah, Don't worry. We'll read it. Yeah. This is the book of John, chapter 11, verse 49. Mm -hmm. And one of them, named Cephas, being the high priest that same year, said unto them, Ye know nothing at all, nor consider that it is expedient for us that one man should die for the people, and for the whole nation perish not, and that the whole nation perish not. And this spake he not of himself, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus should die for that nation and not for the nation only, but also he should gather together in one the children of God that were scattered abroad. That what? That were scattered abroad. That what? That were scattered. So abroad. which children of God were scattered? James 1 and 1. Hold on. You just... Listen, but for the children of God that were scattered abroad. But the listen, let's see who was scattered abroad. Hold on. You don't precept upon hold on, hold on. No, listen, you don't know the Bible. James 1 and 1. You said for the children of God that were scattered abroad. Read James 1 and 1. <laughs> this is the book of James, chapter 1, verse 1. Listen, 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 listen here. James, a servant of God mm -hmm. and of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. 
to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings. All praises, all praises. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.